Look there in verse 34, chapter 23, verse, verse 34. The text says, and Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments. Forgive them. And right after he said to forgive them, they start to gamble over his garments. It was something about Jesus' tunic that made them say, I want possession of the tunic of Jesus. Oh, God, Jesus. It, but, but, but why? why? Why, beloved? Why? Why do they want his tunic? Why would they want the tunic of one that they do not believe in? Obviously, they had no real faith in him. Why? Why would they want to resemble what they had no relationship with? The tunic, the covering. Why would they want to resemble what they had no connection with? Well, we know that Romans were very superstitious. We know that, 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 that relics um, were, uh, were in high demand. And, and so if you have the right relic, you could sell it to people that held the possessor of the relic in high value. Okay? It's not that it means a lot to me. I just know how much it means to you. I want it not because I love it. Not because I even know who possessed it. I just recognize that so many of y'all gave your lives for it. So many of you guys are weeping for it. So many of you hold it of value. So based on how you feel about it, I want it. Because if I possess it, I make and get some stuff out of you. Ooh, I wish I had time to really. Because I, I almost want to say, but I'd be too petty. I, I, I almost want to say, but I, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got too many friends that stream. But I almost want, I, but if, if no one was watching, if it was just us in the room, if we weren't streaming, what, 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 what I might say is I wonder how many pontificators of the God spell, how many evangelists, how many Christian business owners, how many preachers, how many people in office, how many politicians, Christian politicians, conservatives, if you will, how many really don't know Jesus. They just know what he means to Christians. So they want a piece of him on their platform. They want a piece of him in their testimony, not because they know him, but they know what he means to us. They know we're willing to pay. They know we'll cast a vote based on who we love. Not saying that they even know who we love, but we'll cast a vote based on who they know we, who am I cussing? I'm trying to, and what if, and what if, and what if, what if your favorite TV preacher don't even know him? But he or she knows how much you love him. That's petty, that, that'll be way too petty. 